Rory McIlroy won his first professional golf tournament at the age of 19. Now just 23, he's already won the US Open and the PGA Championship. He's the youngest player to reach $10 million in career earnings on the PGA Tour. The comparisons to Tiger Woods are inevitable. But Sports Illustrated senior writer Alan Shipnuck says McElroy is already out of the woods. You know, he's been bred for stardom since he was a young kid, you know, I mean, uh, Tiger-esque, I suppose. You know, that was my big goal for the season, was getting the number one in the world, and I'd achieved it by March, so I was like, you know, <laughs> got to reassess and set yourself some more goals. Rory McIlroy is 23 years old. He won a second major championship this year after taking the U.S. Open last season. He's consensus player of the year on every tour. He's just, uh, he's a phenomenon. And the scary thing is he's only getting better and better. I wanted to go to China for a week with Rory to really experience the hysteria that surrounds him and, and also to see this uh, unique moment in his career. You know, he's taking possession of an entire sport. Tiger has been a huge hero of mine growing up. You know, I watched him do incredible things on the golf course, whether it's, you know, chipping in from the back of 16 at Augusta, whatever it is. Rory was old enough to understand what Tiger was doing and to be inspired by that, and, and that propelled him forward as a golfer. I was sadly when he won his first Masters, so I remember watching all those things on TV. <laughs> it's a new era in, in our sport, and, um, we're kind of like in a, in a transition. To have the opportunity to compete against him and beat him sometimes is, is quite nice. He's already accomplished so much at an early age that um, you know it'll be fun for me as, as a competitor to go against him as, uh, as he's getting better. Roy and I are, have become really good friends and uh, we'll continue to be that way. Even though we tried to downplay it, this match with Tiger meant a lot to him. On one hand, this was just a match to sell real estate. You know, they were, they were being paid to promote the host venue, but at the same time, it meant everything to golf. To get them together, head to head, really for the first time, it was a big moment for the sport. If we can do this for the next 10, 15 years, if we could have that type of route, it would be great. So we're both playing well, and we're both in contention to win. At the duel, Rory beat Tiger by a stroke, and it wasn't really that close. He, he played much better golf, Tita Green. It was a tremendous uh, clinic and ball striking. Ladies and gentlemen, let's warmly welcome Rory McRoy. During our week together in China, Rory was paid an appearance fee to play the BMW Masters. He was paid an appearance fee to play the duel against Tiger. In between, he finished second at the event. For one week's work, he probably made close to $3 million. World number one golfer against former world number one in Tingle Tennis. Oh, beautiful. It was so exhausting just trailing him. I started feeling sorry for Rory. I mean, yes, he was getting paid all this money, but talk about, you know, a pound of flesh. It's amazing what you can get done in one week if you're Rory McIlroy. Ten years from now, Rory McIlroy is going to be the number one golfer in the world. He's going to be chasing the ghosts of Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. On natural talent alone, he can make a fabulous living and, and win a lot of tournaments, but if he's going to be, you know, a golfer for the ages, if he's going to be number one for a long time, he, he has to he has to be all in, and he is.